A tragedy etched into the memory of Siam. 1962, a lifeboat, the George Elmy, headed out to sea on a rescue mission. All save one were lost. The George Elmy lifeboat now rests in Siam Marina. But back in 2009, how did the lifeboat end up on eBay? November the 17th, 1962, Saturday. Never to be forgotten in Siam. The lifeboat took three go. Uh, three uh, passes on the, on the economy to get everybody off, five fishermen. All fishermen off onto the lifeboat, Every, everybody's tickety pokey, we're going home. So on the way home, as they came up to the south pier and they were turning to come in to the pier, uh, two massive waves caught the boat. We saw the flares dropping. When I got back, uh, back home, my mum said that something had gone wrong down here didn't know at the time when my dad had gone down um, and then there was everybody down looking for at the end of the day there was only the one one man that was saved you know. nine uh, casualties and one survivor Donny Burrow and the, what made it worse for Donny was that one of the uh, casualties was his brother Gordon and of course young David his son I was on eBay one night and uh, searching for things to do with seal it was advertised as ex Seam lifeboat, the George Emily. But I knew it wasn't the Emily, it was the Elmy. We uh, bought it off a guy who actually won the auction. We didn't win the auction, so we struck a, struck a price. He brought it up and the rest is uh, history, as they say. But the story of the George Elmy now aims to be told to a much wider audience, thanks to a local filmmaker whose labour of love is a tribute to those who died. When I first read uh, Donny Barrell's uh, witness report, the coroner's report, I was completely inspired by the heroic deeds of the day and blown away by the, how, what a tragic event it was as well. Getting to know the East Durham Heritage Group and uh, I was blown away by their story of how they found the boat, how they got it restored, how uh, their dedication to do this I think there's a quote um, in the film from Brian Salt who said people who come in just want to touch it. They just want to touch it. And that's what he does every morning when he comes in. He just touches the boat. And I can see what he means. And I think it's incredible how an inanimate object like a boat can have such emotion attached to it. The film premieres this week at a screening in Siam and has been supported by the victims' families. And the hope is that the George Elmy's legacy underlines the very real risk our lifeboat crews take to keep our northeast coastline safe. People can come and see firsthand the, 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 uh, the type of vessels that they used to go to, to, to sea in and realise the, the, how close-knit the communities were around the lifeboats. It's a story about human nature, it's a story about heroism. What I've learned as well is what a, a great community Siam is. And I think people can connect to community and I think that's what we need more of. 